Hello everyone, I'm Fang Nan from Xianjiao Tong University. I'm glad to introduce our paper, Inferring Actions and Joint Attention from Dual Classroom Videos. Recognizing and understanding teacher and student actions and attention from classroom videos are fundamental tasks for learning analytics, particularly non-contact interactions between the teacher and the students such as gifts and gesture interactions often contain plenty of useful information and clues to indicate whether students pay attention to lecture contents, which called joint attention in pedagogy. Joint attention in classroom sense is a process that starts with a teacher initiator guiding actions and causing student responders to follow their attention to the same place. Therefore, Joint attention detection should take both student attention and teacher attention as input. Currently, most classrooms are equipped with two view cameras, one forward and the other backward. However, existing methods are rarely able to detect actions and attention in such sense. For example, the traditional gaze estimation methods are only able to predict gaze position and directions in a single view image, as shown in the figure. Thus, to detect action and joint attention, there are two challenges need to be resolved. The first is there are multi-human and multi-object in classroom sense, and the second is the dual separation between teacher-oriented and student-oriented videos. In this paper, we propose a framework that combines human object interaction detection and do view gaze estimation to deal with the above difficulties. First, we construct two datasets of multi-human and multi-object in the classroom sense. Second, we use object detection and post estimation to predict bounding box and joint heat map from both student video and teacher video frames. And then, we employ an action recognition model for teacher video and a post feature based human object interaction detection model for each student in student video. Last, we develop a dual view joint attention detection model to deduce student teacher student shared gaze region for discovering teacher student joint attention. The framework of our model is shown in figure. For teacher Video frames, we use object detection and post estimation models to get the teacher bounding box and joint point heat map at first. Then, an action recognition model classifies the teacher's action. For student video frames, we also use the object detection and post estimation model. These outputs are sent to a post feature based. Graph Neural Network Human Object Interaction Model to predict the student action, including the interaction with the object. When the teacher action is interactive and the student action is looking up, the dual-view joint attention detection model will take dual-view frames as input and output the joint attention heat map. Specifically, in the GNNHOI, we initiate the human nodes, object nodes, and aids where the refined human feature, object feature, and pose feature to build the bipartite graph. And then we adopt a bidirectional message passing to update the node encodings with the age encodings unchanged. Next, we concatenate the node encoding and the age encoding for each student tuple and use an, use an MLP classifier to generate the final interaction prediction for each human object pair. Second, the dual-view joint attention detection model consists of three components, the student attention branch, teacher attention branch, and encoder-decoder module. First, the student attention branch is developed to simu simulate a 3D space modeling process, which is able to model mapping coordinates between student video and teacher video. Under the guidance of student facing orientation and position information, as a result, we can get a student attention heat map. Teacher, second teacher attention branch is designed to employ the features of the teacher video frame 
for generating teacher attention heat map, which means the regions where the teacher wants students to look at. The third, the encoder decoder takes the teacher student attention heat map and the features of teacher video frame as the input and finally predicts the joint attention heat map. There are no data sites that means the need for dual joint attention detection in the classroom. Therefore, we build a multi-human and multi-object in classroom data sites for student video and dual joint attention data sites for teacher video. Necessary privacy protection has been taken, and consent from all individuals who are included in the data sites have been obtained. In MHMOC. Each student is labeled with the one whole label of the eight actions shown in the table by comparing with two HUI data sites. We can find the MHMOC contains a much larger average human amount and average object amount, which is the general situation of the classroom. Current gaze estimation data sites do not consider the dual view sense, therefore, we build the dual view joint attention data sites based on MHMOC data sites. For teacher video frames, we label the bounding box and file actions of the teacher as shown in the table. Interactive actions means these types of actions are interactive with students, which get the joint attention. Besides, we label the gaze region as heat map in teacher video for each corresponding student video in MHMOC. Results of human object interaction detection on MHMOC are shown in the table. Because some action samples are not enough to train the model, we only set experiments on six actions and calculate the MAP for four single view actions. Our method outperforms other methods. The similarity of post feature with other actions may cause the performance drop in taking notes. Moreover, a prototype system is developed in our university to help education management units to analyze classroom teaching quality. This system interactively displays all the detection results based on our method. For example, you can choose the time and the student you want to save with plan for, and our system will show the actions of this student or the action percentage change of all the students during this time. The visualization of joint attention is shown in the picture. In future work, we will focus on detecting more nonverbal communication, such as facial expre expressions and speech tunes of teachers and students, to improve the learning efficiency in classrooms. That's all. Thanks for your watching.